Welcome to Overdrive, where East Cleveland Public Library users can enjoy ebooks, audiobooks, and more for free. You can listen and notice the icons in the top right hand corner will let you know whether it's reading or list an audiobook. You can browse the collection. And if you find something you like, you can find a library near you and see if it's available to you. You can click sign in. You sign in with your library, East Cleveland Public Library. Clevenet will show up. And if you don't see your library, click Clevenet. If you don't know your PIN, contact your local library to receive your PIN. You must always verify your account. Once you do so, you can borrow it or read a sample. Overdrive offers different collections, Kindle books, kids, teens, and magazines. Libby is the updated overdrive, so if you're using Libby, no worries, you're in the right place. Once you borrow, you have to sign in. Success. We will have this until September 16th. You can read it on your Kindle, read it on your Android, your Apple device, or your Windows device. Read it in the browser or download it. Once your time is up, it'll automatically return the book. You can go to your account to see what items you are currently loaning. Notice that items from my Libby and items from my Overdrive will combine. So these three were from Libby and this one is from Overdrive. Libby is just an updated Overdrive. Your wish list, your rated titles, recommendations, history, and settings. Set your default lending period for each format. Do you want your ebooks for seven days, 14 days, or 21? How long do you want your audiobooks? How about your videos and your magazines? Certain titles may have lending periods that can't change. So if you want an ebook for 14 days, that will show you only the ebooks that can be borrowed for 14 days or less. Holds are automatically borrowed from you as they become available. You can turn that off so that you can make it available to you when you're ready. Your history is going to display your history from one month before. Choose your audience who's going to be using this Libby. And your display option. You have dyslexic font and high contrast. Let's get to reading.